For running PPSSPP, we should use the 32-bit version, not the 64-bit one, and we should run it in Japanese local as administrator. To save time, I already have PPSSPP on. Text tractor should also be run in the 62-bit version, and it should also be run in Japanese local as administrator. Once open, we'll see a window like this. Click Attach to Game. Select the game process, that is PPSSPP Windows EXE in, in our case. It will tell us that we should be searching for hooks. Search for hooks option at the left. It will give us a warning. You'll want the option for uh, capturing Japanese, or Chinese, or Korean text on. Here we have multiple options. We can either search for specific text or we can just search all possible hooks. Let's start the search. Let's keep advancing the text while it is searching. If you know a little bit of Japanese, you might want to actually try the second method. To use the second method, you'd have to type up some of the text that you can see on the screen and then search for it. So we will take a look at that later. It's probably a good idea to try for that if you are confident in your Japanese typing. Otherwise, if you have zero Japanese knowledge, you can always try this brute force hook version. Your PPSSPP might lag a little bit once it successfully starts to extract the text from there. So don't worry about that. And it might tell you that it's out of search records if uh, the game has a lot of hooks. So you can see there's a lot of results. We are, going, we are also given the option to save these results. So let's do that. There's a lot of garbage here. We're going to scroll down until we find some readable text. Oops, we skipped it. So here, you can see there are a bunch of th threads here that actually have text. So let's take a look at a few of them and eventually we'll find one that will be suited to our purposes. Okay, we've selected one. Let's keep this out of the way and advance the text a little bit. Now we'll see that this text will be found under this user hook one. When we compare the text, we see that it more or less is accurate. Let's advance the text and com keep comparing. Now we can use this extracted text to get a translation. So to get that translation, we are going to use translation aggregator. So let's open it up. You can see that we have copy to clipboard on for in our extensions. So the text extracted by Textractor is automatically being copied. And when we are taking a look at the translation aggregator, we can see that this text is being translated. Notice that there are some garbage values here and there, but it's not too much. If you're not satisfied with the text you're getting and there's too much garbage value, you can always go back. Like for example, you can see that the first Kono the no is missing. So let's try out some other threads. Let's pick a different one. Okay. It's not going to show up immediately. We advance the text first, then find the new hook. So this also looks fine. So it's working. We can delete the hook list once we are satisfied with the chosen hook. Okay, let's do some rearranging of the windows to make them look nice. Also, I'm using the latest version of uh, translation aggregator that allows us to use Google and Baidu Trans. Make sure you click the board like button that I forgot to do for Baidu, so it's not showing. But Gold Frostage is doing a good enough job. Now let's consider the second case where we search for specific text. 
I've opened up a different game where I have managed to do it using this method. You can write this text if you have a Japanese keyboard or you can just come to Google Translate and write down the spelling and Google Translate will give you the actual letters. You'll either need some Japanese knowledge or you will have to uh, draw the letters using the handwriting option in Google Translate. So I chose the Shino to wa omoanai line because I already knew that this line was coming up in a few sentences. I have played this part already. Textractor will soon give you a bunch of hooks that have the term that you search for. Sometimes there will be this error message, but that error message doesn't mean much. So don't worry. Then you will have to search this, all of these threads for the line you are looking for. Once you find the line, you should advance the text. Ideally, you should get more text, but sometimes you will not. If not, then you should search again. So we found a thread where as we are advancing, the lines are changing. So this is the correct thread. So we managed to find the correct thread, but you might not want to do this every single time you play the game. So in that case, what you can do is you can save this hook. Textractor will remember that this is the hook you used. The next step you start up Textractor, it will automatically attach to PPSSPP and use the correct hook. Let's test it out by opening up Textractor again. You can see how Textractor automatically connects to PPSSPP and <coughs> starts grabbing the text. This hook, however, will only work with this game. So if you load some other game, it will not work. Lastly, if you want to use translation right from inside the text tractor window, you can do that. You can just go to extension, right click, add extension, and pick one of the available options. You can do Bing Translate, or you can go Google Translate, or you can use DeepL Translate. Most of them have a limit though. So I know DeepL does. Like if you want to get a continuous output, you will need an API key. So that means you'll have to go to DeepL's website and purchase a plan. So if you don't want to do that, uh, you'll probably have to use a VPN or something like that. Personally, I'm just happy with my Google Translate or an offline translator like Atlas. If we choose one of the translation extensions and then advance our game while Textractor is open, we'll see that Textractor will show us the real-time translation of each line. The problem with not paying DPL comes up as soon as we hit the, the third line. You can see that they're saying too many requests. So it's better to either pay DPL or just use Google Translate or Bing. I haven't tried using the API key for Google. So if any of you do so, let me know. Personally, I just use um, translation aggregator instead. I keep text tractor minimized. Before, <coughs> before we finish, let's take a brief look at how good the Google Translate is uh, compared to DeepL. And you, you'll be able to see that Google Translate is slightly less accurate than DeepL. But it gets the job done, so it's up to you how you want to use it, whether you want to just extract the text and use the Google Translator DPL right here, or if you want to use it together with Translation Aggregator like I do.